Previously on Master Chef. Oh my God. The home cook saddled up to feed a posse of cowboys. It's a lot of freaking cowboys. But when Monty's red team bit the dust, <laughs> they faced a pressure test. This is ridiculous. I don't believe I deserve to be in this pressure test. It was a fight to the finish. I'm not going home on an egg, dude. I'm not going home on an egg. And one of the biggest contenders of the season was eliminated. Josh, your time is done. Tonight, it's the grandest mystery box in MasterChef history. Shut your mouth! As culinary queen Paula Dean becomes judge for a day. Put some south in your mouth. And then, it's all out war when a tag team challenge has the contestants running in circles. No, 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 they're still your last Where? Oh my god, dude, this seems impossible. And another MasterChef hopeful's culinary dream ends in tears. <laughs> There's a big, it looks like a giant mystery box up where the judges usually are. Oh, it's like really? a wall. Yeah. We're walking into the kitchen and there is a humongous, gigantic, like larger than life size mystery box. It's like the size of a small New York City apartment. Welcome. Hi guys. Look at your faces. You might have noticed we have the biggest mystery box in the history of MasterChef. All right, I can't take the suspense any longer. I know. Please, let's find out the contents of this very special mystery box. Thinking horse, Shark Tank. Horse, Shark Tank. You're kind of like, you know, looking down and seeing what it is, and I see these, like, sparkly shoes. The person I knew it! Shut your mouth. <laughs> Shut your oh, mouth! God. What? It's oh. Paula Deen. Shut up. Oh, hey, yo! <laughs> Holy <laughs> It's Paula Deen! What? The pride of Savannah, Paula Dean. <laughs> I couldn't be happier. I love butter. I love Paula Dean. I love Paula Dean with butter. Paula Dean is a legend in the culinary world. Let's be honest. She has her own magazine with over a million subscribers. She's written 14 amazing cookbooks, and her personality is as dazzling as her food. That's sweet. We invited Paula to handpick a mystery box just for you. On the count of three, we will lift those boxes. One, two, three, lift. <laughs> yes. OK, so y'all can see that you've got in your box a whole chicken, green tomatoes, collard greens, there's grits, there's blackberries, there's hot sauce, pepper jelly, there's bacon, cream cheese. You know, there's got to be some cream cheese in there. That is an amazing list of ingredients. I wanted them to have the opportunity to strut their stuff southern style. You know, put some south in your mouth. Brilliant. <laughs> south in your mouth. <laughs> Love it. Before you start cooking, we have a few more surprises. My family is my everything. And I know that y'all have been separated from that kind of support for a while now. So I arranged for y'all to get a little something from home. Shut up. So if you'll open your drawers, y'all will find a photo of your families and a letter from them. So we opened the drawer and I have a picture of me and my mom, and there's a letter there. No mom or dad could ask for anything more of their daughter. Nothing was as much fun to watch as when you and your mom worked in the kitchen together. We are so proud of you. All our love and support, mom and dad. living testament to what people can achieve as long as they have and will too. You are my hero, you are my best friend, you are my wife, 
can't wait to see you from your awesome and loving husband, Chansa. Dear Felix, we haven't seen you for over a year now. Your mom and I miss you very much. We know you're working very hard these days. Undoubtedly, it's very challenging for a young lady trying to find her own career directions in an unfamiliar place. We really are longing for the return of the old days. Love, Mom and Dad. Christine. Yes, Chef. My goodness me, look at that bride. <laughs> Who's that lucky man next to you? My number one fan. What did he say in his letter? That he's so proud of me that I've achieved more than um, people with no obstacles have. Frank, look at that beautiful picture. It's my sous chef. How old is she? She's two and a half. I can't think of a greater source of inspiration today. Oh, seriously, man. Cooking chicken for her today, I'm going to win this one. No Great. doubt. Trust me, today's advantage is huge. You want this one. You've got 60 minutes to create something magical from those amazing ingredients. Hand selected by Paula. Your time, guys, starts right now. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> At first, I'm thinking, you know, it's Paula Dean. I have to make something Southern. But instead of going that route, I want to do something that's using southern ingredients and then kicking it up a notch. What would yeah. you do, Gordon? What would I do? Um, I would do some braised collar with some bacon and make it quite a little bit spicy. I would love to see one of them just do the best kick-ass fried chicken I've ever put in my mm -hmm. mouth. That would thrill me to pieces. Uh. Yes, ma'am. How are you doing, Angel? I'm good, ma'am. What are you making, Christine? I'm trying to make bacon wrapped chicken with the jalapeno uh -huh. jelly uh -huh. and some collard greens with a little bit of cream cheese. You're definitely working with some difficult odds not being able to see. And already, you're one of my new heroes. Oh, thank you. Please don't oh, make me cry again, ma'am. I won't make you cry, I promise. If I got this money, I want to give it to my parents because I feel like they've given everything they have to me. That's my motivation. I'm making a blackberry dessert because my son, Danger, loves blackberries, so it reminds me of him. How's it going, David? What do you got? I have uh, some greens with bacon. Holy hell. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You got some real flavors happening here. You are not afraid today, Martinez. You are cooking with conviction. 15 minutes to go. Now, what are you doing, darling? So, I'm doing oven roasted chicken, and then I'm going to make, I made fried green tomatoes and fried okra, and I'm making biscuits, and I'm going to kind of put it all together oh with this my goodness. pepper, cheese, One of jam. my favorite foods in the whole world is fried oh, okra. Well, I hope I did it justice. Last two minutes to go. Come on, guys. Focus on that presentation. The fastest 60 minutes of their life, kind of right? Awesome. Frank's doing uh, chicken galettes, very, very restaurant-y. A little bit risky, a little bit out of the box today. And that sounds good. There's nothing better than that chicken skin. Right. And Monty, I think the only one tonight doing a dessert. No, I was so surprised. Let me get, get the chicken on the plate. Because wow. he's got nothing on the plate yet. 90 seconds to go. Come on, Christine, please start plating. <laughs> Last 10 seconds, guys. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Come on, finishing touches. Oh my gosh, y'all get it, get it, get it. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop, guys. Well done. Oh my God. Having carefully tasted everything throughout the challenge, the judges, accompanied by special guest judge Paula Dean, 
take one final look to identify three standout dishes. I'm looking down at my dish and I'm thinking, you know, this could potentially be the one to put me in the top three. What do you think? Excited? You know what? I am excited, Gordon. I've kind of slipped a taste here and there. Good girl. They look beautiful. The first dish that we'll be tasting was one of the few that actually made fried green tomatoes. She's smiling. It's Becky. Come on up. Freaking Becky. It's always Becky. Can't she just screw up already? Hi, Miss. Congratulations, Becky. Oh, thank Becky. you so much for choosing to try it. So I made oven roasted chicken with homemade biscuit and pan gravy alongside fried green tomato, fried okra, and uh, pepper jelly. All right, now where, where is the pepper jelly? Uh, it's in, mixed in with the cream cheese underneath the fried green tomato. I love that, Becky. Thank you. I love sweet and savory mix. Oh, awesome. Yum. <laughs> I left you some. Thank you. <laughs> All of us were really nervous bringing Paula in. I mean, you know, you guys are an extension of what we do and what we represent. And You've done us proud. Great job. Thank you so much, Chef. You put food on a plate with great finesse. Thank great you job. so much. Thank you all so Good job. Much. All right, the second home cook that has made it into the top three took southern ingredients to a whole nother level. Please, step forward, Frank. I am kind of surprised that Frank's name was called. I don't imagine Frank cooking southern food. Oh, man. Hi, Paula. Hey, Frank. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you so much. This is chicken roulade, bacon on the inside with peppers, onions, garlic, and green tomato, red pepper chutney with spicy potato fries. I love it that you've chose the dark meat. Uh, the dark meat is where all the flavor yes, is. Yes, ma'am. And Delicious. Thank you so much. Woo! <laughs> Is that just from the pepper jelly? No, that's got cayenne in there too. Oh, okay. <laughs> God. It's delicious. It's tart and it's hot. Thank you so much. I can't believe Paula Dean's eating my food. The technique is fancy and skillful. Butchery, cooking, smart. You certainly got yourself noticed. Cool. Look at the consistency here. It's really a great, great show of technique. I'm really proud. Good Thank job. Thank you so much, Chef. OK, we're going to be tasting just one more dish. Quite frankly, we actually thought this individual was disappearing in the competition. But this dish will bounce that person back. This is their best dish so far in this competition. David. <laughs> what is it? Red pepper grits with pan-roasted chicken breast and a little bit of crispy onion on top with a sprinkling of cayenne. love the idea of what you're doing with the peppers and jalapeno through the grits, and you've taken a sort of boring, bland staple, like a grit, and turned them into something tasty. Thank you, Chef. Delicious. Bloody good job. Thank well you. Done. Thank you. Congratulations, David. Thank you. Thank you very much. What do you mean, a bland, boring dish like grits? <laughs> oh, grits. <laughs> Busted. <laughs> they need, they, I heard that. They need help, don't they? You can't just boil grits. They need you help. They need, they need love. You're right, though. You do have to help grits out, Gordon. Otherwise, they can be bland. I think that you prove that you can take very humble food 
and turn it into a wonderful, wonderful plate. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. And that was a tough decision to make. Three remarkable dishes. As you all know, there's only one of you can actually win. Waiting to announce the winner, I'm thinking to myself, okay, I have a shot at this. I may, in fact, have the top dish of the day. This is my fourth time being in the top three, and I'm so excited. I'm just hoping, like, more than anything in the world that they call my name. It's mandatory that I win this mystery box challenge, and I better beat Becky. Paula, the best dish of the night belongs to, please. In Paula Dean's Southern Mystery Box Challenge, the top three dishes have been tasted by the judges. Becky's roasted chicken, Frank's chicken roulade, and David's red pepper grits with chicken. There can only be one winner. Paula, please. So the best dish tonight. Wish yours, Frank. Yes. Good job. Great flair, tremendous skill. Frank, Good job. the dish of the night. And you've done it proud, let me tell you. Thank you so much. It's awesome to win one of these challenges. It really just proves to me that I'm definitely a top competitor in this competition. Are you ready to see this huge advantage? You betcha. Before we do that, I'd like you all to join us I'm thanking this amazing lady. Paula, you've been amazing. Thank y'all for having me. Y'all were we wonderful. Love you, Paula. Bye, girls. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Best lady ever. Frank, well done. Thanks, Chef. First time you've won a mystery box. Not the last, though. This one comes with a huge advantage. Ready to see what it is? I can't wait, man. Let's, Let's go. go. Well done. Congratulations. Let's go. Good job. Huh? Brilliant. Good job. Thanks, Joe. Welcome to the Master Chef Pantry. Come through. As the winner of the Mystery Box Challenge, Frank is now in control of the elimination test, after which one person will leave the competition. Today, you won't be getting to choose what everyone will be cooking. We've already done that for you. Okay. This next elimination challenge is all about. Japanese food. Holy It's an incredibly skillful challenge today, one that will be asking you to execute the aesthetic, the technique, and the real skill that it takes to put a sushi platter like this on the table. Wow. My first visit to Japan was one thing I wanted to master. Yeah. But to be totally honest, it's one of the most difficult things I've ever had to learn. And I've got 12 Michelin stars. Here's the good news. For winning your very first Mystery Box Challenge, you have immunity from this elimination test. Here's some even bigger news. Oh, stop it. <laughs> what? Yeah! Please, come down to the front. Frank did not get to choose what everyone will be cooking today. That was our choice. And that is going to be... <gasps> Japanese. This amazing Japanese platter is exactly what we're expecting from all of you. A perfect replication of that platter there. This plate consists of stunning, crisp vegetable tempura, a California roll, two salmon sushi, two yellowtail sushi, two tuna sushi, and two shrimp sushi. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Sushi chefs only make sushi. It's an extremely, extremely specific area of the culinary world. The good news, you guys don't have to make this dish alone. You are going to be broken into teams of two. The bad news is, 
Frank handpicked the teams. We will select the worst Japanese platter. And one member of the losing team will be leaving the MasterChef kitchen tonight. Becky, Frank, paired with you. David Martinez. Becky is my biggest competition. So I'd put Becky with somebody that, first of all, doesn't know how to make sushi. Second of all, David is a disaster. So if I can put them together and they clash, I can take Becky down. Felix, Frank has paired you with Monty. Monty and Felix butt heads a lot. And having them both on the same team is definitely dangerous. Which obviously means Frank paired Christine and Stacy together. We are about to make MasterChef history with our first ever tag team challenge. Each team will have 60 minutes to make one dish, but you will not be cooking at the same time. You will decide which of you cooks first, and when you hear us yell, switch, you'll trade positions. Please, head to your stations. When it comes to sushi, man, honestly, I do kind of know my um, I've never done it myself, but I've seen it done so many times. Decide first amongst yourselves who's starting. Okay, you should start. We have 60 minutes to recreate what this sushi master spent 150 years perfecting. Sure, let's do that. All right. I had coffee today. Can the individuals not cooking at the beginning please stand at the end of the bench? Thank you. Your 60 minutes. Starts now. Rice. All right. Yeah, we got to get get two cups of rice. We need to rinse it a bunch of times. Then the ratio is going to be about one to one with a little bit of extra water. Stacey, can you talk to me about the vegetables? Yeah, there was one one broccoli floret. There was maybe two or three pieces of the carrot sticks. One strip of eggplant that I saw. OK, let's start some boiling water in like a medium saucepan for the shrimp. Medium saucepan, boiling water for shrimp. This is the toughest elimination test so far. They've got to work as a team. To me, this is where you stop being friendly with people. If you see someone messing up, you got to call them out on Big it. Time. First thing up is the rice. Right. First thing. After that, you start preparing the batter. Mm -hmm. Start cutting the vegetables. The fish is on ice, so that can sit there to the very last moment. Right, and it's raw. So I mean, you're literally it's just knife work, right? It's, Absolutely. Yeah. All right, debone that. Monty, how are you doing? I'm doing amazing, sir. How much do you know about Japanese cuisine on a scale of 1 to 10? 1. 1. Yes, sir. Is it really that bad? Uh, sir, I've never made sushi before. Oh, oh. OK, set it aside. Let's do vegetables. Yes. You know, that's, I mean, she doesn't really understand Japanese cuisine properly. So mm -hmm. how are you feeling? Um, I feel OK, because I'm just talking to her, and then we're working sure. through it. So I Suppose think it's going to be really good. Who's going home? Suppose we lose, Monty's going to go home. But we're not losing. Good luck. Right, Talk to each you. other. Thank you. You got two minutes, Christine. Is this your broth? Is this what you're making for your uh, um, your sauce that has for some the rice vinegar? Tempura? Uh yes. If you guys are in the bottom two, which one of you are going home? I don't know. I guess whoever screws up, but hopefully not me. You guys are about to switch. Okay, yes. so get ready. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one, switch. All right. Keep prepping veggies. Vegetables. Keep prepping okay. the veggie. You have four slices there already. You don't need any more. I know, but you put them in water, and that made me nervous. Because I think that you need to get as little water in there as possible, you know? If you could start soaking the nori. Soak the nori? Yeah. I don't. You don't soak it necessarily before the sushi roll. I think you just put it in there dry. You put it in there. You put it, you soak the, you soak it first? Yes. Trust me, I got this, I got this. You're making me nervous. David and Becky are the weak team here today that Frank's strategy is working because he wants to get Becky out of this competition by putting her with David. David will bring her down. We just need the Okay, let me just try this one thing, okay? Like this? No. Yeah, they've got their work cut out. Their yeah. communication skills have to be better than ever before. Right. For winning the mystery box, Frank has immunity and got to choose the teams yeah. for MasterChef's first ever tag team challenge. Switch! Their task is to replicate an incredible sushi plate. Based on their individual performance, the judges will decide which member of the losing team will be eliminated. 
So what's going on? Rice is on. The rice is on is right now. Is it seasoned? Did you get it? Was it? Did we season the rice water? I don't remember. No, ma'am. Why would you cook the rice with no salt in there? Um, chef, it's something that I that I uh, quickly overlooked, to be honest with you. It's not okay. Monty, that's a pretty fancy play we're asking you to make. Yes, sir. What are you going to do to pull your end of the weight on this team? Felix cooks sushi all the time. I'm definitely going to follow her lead on this. Do you think she's got the skills to carry both of you effectively? Because that's what she's doing, right? Yeah, I think Felix is a, a warrior in this challenge. This is her challenge. Christine, can you talk to me? I'm cutting the yellowtail also against the grain, like the tuna. Like the tuna? Yeah. I did it like the salmon. They're not the prettiest cuts in the world, man, I'm telling you. Just try to be quick. I think we're, we're, we're moving pretty slow, Stacey. Oh, I'm trying. Right, Stacey. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm OK, Chef. If you clean your knife every slice, you won't get all those little bits of tuna yes, chef. on top of it. Thank yeah? you, Chef. Just over two minutes to go before the switch. OK. Five, four, three, two, one, switch. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right, let's get started at that t on the temp batter, even if it'll sit. Whip one egg in there. Whole egg? Yep, whole egg. Christine, how are you doing? Uh, I'm doing fine, Chef. I'm happy just with... trying to season the rice a little bit, Good. and then I need to start on the tempura. Happy with the rice? Um, I think you could use a little more seasoning, but it needs to cool down a little yeah, bit. Yeah, that's so... more important, isn't it? Cooling down, yes. especially before you put the sushi together. Do you think your team's in front? I'm not sure, Chef. I can't see around me. All right, David, yes, how sir. are you feeling? Pretty frazzled right now, sir. The batter, are you putting egg whites? Are you whipping the egg whites? Is there egg in there? What are you doing? Um, I asked Becky to put some egg in the batter. She didn't, so I'm going to add egg white to the batter myself. If your team's up for elimination, who deserves to go right now? David. David. Not me. <laughs> 30 seconds to go before the final switch. So Felix is literally in control. Amazing. She uses Monty again. She tells her what to do. Monty follows directions. Let's see if she has enough strength to carry that team through. She looks like she's just nailing it. Oh, my god, dude. This seems impossible. Christine and Stacey, on the hand, are struggling big time. Yeah. The knife skills, the pear earring, the, the butchering. If they look, they're at least 10 minutes behind both of the teams. Right now, I think that at risk is, I mean, Becky and David. I, I think David is so out of his element. I mean, serious flaws. They've over-sliced. All that salmon, all that yellow food, mm -hmm. all that tuna, and it just sat on the board. Please, please, I please. Got you. you gotta got put it. those sushis I together, got you. okay? Chill. Start putting the sushis together. Five, Check four, on the temp. Check on the temp. three, two, one, switch. Okay, Maki roll. This is this is make yeah. or break now. No one's got the roll done yet. No. You got this, Felix. Beautiful. All right, that's what I like to hear, girl. This is it. Stacey, just get, get those vegetables in there and then pull out that crab and then just try to do that roll. Oh, lordy. Stop putting it on the plate, guys. You got it. We need to slice that fish up. OK, oh come on. Oh, my God! You can do it, Stacey. Look at Stacey. I mean, Stacey is flummoxed. She's gone. Train wreck. We haven't even seen her like this in the whole competition. It's, it's like a tailspin. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. They're to your left. Where? Where? Okay, Top okay. of the left. Right Boom. Here? No, they're already cut for you. Where? Right, right there. That's a, like a long, weird chunk, though. David's driving the bus, but he might be driving her off the cliff. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Last minute. 60 seconds to go. Come on. Get what you can on the plate. Stacy is in trouble. What is she doing? Oh, god. This took her is horrible, dude. Oh, dear, dear. Catastrophe. Oh, man. Even wet hands to do the rice or what? Uh, the rice gets pressed down into the nori. Got it, got it. David, get it together. No, no, no. Yeah, the rice goes in. That goes last. That goes last. One flat, even plane on the nori. Uh, I have faith in you. OK, I've got the tempura. Get that California roll done, guys. Come on. Stacy, right. just do the roll. Do the roll. No, no, no. Please listen. Please just listen to me. Come on, guys. Pull it off. Stacey, come on, you're badass. You can do that real quick. All right, I got it, I got it. I got this. 30 seconds to go. Come on, Bex. Move the fingers. You got this, you got this, you got this. God, I want to myself. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I have faith in you. 20 seconds to go. Oh, my God. Dude, I don't have the roll, Christine. 15 seconds to go. 
Get it on the plate. I'm Please. trying, Christina. I know, really? I know, hon. Last minute, 60 seconds to go. Come on. Oh, my god. Get what you can on the plate. I have wasabi. Wasabi, wasabi cream. Dude, I don't have the roll, Christine. 10. We're not nine, there, dude. Eight. Get all the rest of the seven, pieces on their back. Six, five, four, three. It's nothing I can two, do. One, and stop. No! Wow, that was a amazing challenge. Well done. I'm looking at the plate and I'm thinking it looks like and if this plate of sushi came to me at a sushi bar, I would send it back. So I'm like, that's it, we're done. After all the dishes have been tasted, one member of the losing team will be eliminated based on their performance during the challenge. <laughs> Okay, it's time to taste your dishes. Felix and Monty, come on up. Felix finished 14 pieces of sushi in four minutes and 45 seconds. That's about as impressed as I've ever been with anybody. Ah, very nice. Very good. Who made that? I made that. I mean, obviously, this is a, a beautiful dish. It's completed. This is delicious. A lot on the line. You completed all the tasks. And some of the elements are actually very good to excellent. Thank you. The first thing that catches my eye is the California roll with these tabiko, this flying fish roe. It's literally, it's glistening. It looks like a piece of jewelry almost. And then the tuna. We get a cut on that. It's nice and even. And Monty, you did the vegetables? Yes, sir. Not only a, a really good batter, but the cookery, really, really good. You know, the fact that you guys literally had 60 minutes as amateur home cooks, you both deserve a good pat on the back. I think that you guys did a really good job. Thank you so Congratulations. much. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I think you played your strengths well. Monty never made a role in life. Big deal. I'm looking at the end product. Well done. Thank you so much. Really Steve. good job. We worked really great together as a team. You held it together. Thank you, sir. You stayed composed, unlike the two teams standing behind you. So I'm really impressed. Thank you. David and Becky, please. Let's go. Do not throw me under the bus. I want to win this more than anyone else here. So if they were to ask me if there's one person to blame for this, then I will point my finger fully at David. Any sauce? Uh, I was struggling at the end, but no, there's no sauce. No sauce. Do you think that looks good? No, chef, it does not. I was just so concerned with getting things on the plate. Who sliced the salmon? David. David. Looks like it. a dog's chewed it. I mean, you had the best of the best. Look at that. Wasabi on there. And not an ounce of wasabi on the next one. I mean, it's just like butchered. Who put that together? I put that together, sir. Why would you do one so clumsy like that with loads of wasabi on there and the other one with nothing? What does that tell you? Um, that I was... Out of control. Out of control, sir. I mean, I expected more, to be honest. This was eye-opening for me, quite frankly, Becky, because I think today I saw a side of you that was a little bit, well, quite frankly, very disappointing. You can't lead when it's convenient and then duck your head when the <laughs> hits the fan. He seemed more comfortable cutting the fish, and he yeah, made but it you, clear, so I Yeah, but you I were leading the charge. As cooks, as leaders in kitchens and in restaurants, when you lead, you lead through the good and the bad. The best thing about this plate is perhaps that everything's on it. This is greasy, disgusting mess. I don't know who would eat this. Maybe uh, Frank's strategy actually worked in eliminating his strongest competition. I'm pissed because Becky couldn't step back. 
I'm pissed because she was really opinionated. I don't think Becky understands the gravity of the situation right now. We're The best thing about this plate is perhaps that everything's on it. Tonight's elimination challenge was to replicate a stunning sushi plate in MasterChef's first ever tag team challenge. All right. Stacy, Christine, please come up. Based on their performance, the judges will decide which member of the losing team will go home. Stacy and Christine walk up, and it's so hard for me not to freak out because they're two of my favorite people. And apparently, they didn't finish a roll, they didn't even fry their tempura. Obviously, you're missing a main component, that being the California roll. Stacy, you were working like there was a a semi coming at full speed, and you were in such a panic, it was it was almost making me nervous to watch. The thing is, the tuna looks really nice, but the veggies, they don't have any batter on them. Mm -mm. It's a shame, I really wish that uh, we could have seen an, an entire plate, yep. you know. Who sliced the fish? I did, chef. And who cooked the rice? I did, chef. Rice is fine. The cut's dreadful. And what are they? Pass your fingers, please. There we go. Just there. Absolutely raw. Raw. I'm nervous because this is the worst performance Absolutely. from both of you. There's no doubt in my mind now that we lost this challenge today, and one of us is going home. Congratulations, Felix and Monty. Great job. Thank, Thank you. you. They were the highs, but there is one low point in this challenge this evening. The losing team with the worst Japanese platter would like to see down here, and one of whom will be leaving the Master Chef kitchen in seconds. Stacy and I squeezed hands because we know we're going up there, and I'm ready to walk up that, that walk with her to the front. The losing team tonight. <sighs> Stacy and Christine, please come down. Felix, Monty, Becky, David, congratulations. You're through to the final six. Please join Frank upstairs. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well done. This is not going to be an easy decision. We need a minute ourselves. Please excuse us. This is tough. This is tough. One melted down. I think, yeah. Christine and I, we failed each other on a few levels. I should have done this, should have done that. I, I could, should have, would have, could have all day. With how much I love sushi, I never thought it would beat me down like this. I know. I am frustrated because I had a more positive attitude than Stacy. I did keep more composure than her, and I don't want to go home. They're coming out. OK. Sadly, one of you have to leave the MasterChef kitchen. Both of you have been a dream. Two very inspirational, dynamic girls that have a huge passion for what they do. And I'm telling you, two incredible home cooks. The person leaving tonight is Stacy, no. darling, your time is done. No, it's okay. 
Stacey, you have been an inspiration in this competition. You've got to keep your head up high, let me tell you. But that was the first time that we really saw you panic. I think today's challenge perhaps got the better of you. There was a little bit of a, a rare negativity that I saw coming off the sidelines and just a bit of a tailspin that cost you. But uh, I had a special commitment because I came and pulled you out of that waiting room, yeah. brought you back in, changed my mind, and I think it's one of the best decisions I made. Well done, my darling. Come and say goodbye. It's been a complete honor, really. Well done, you. Thank you. You've got a great future in food. Good job, Stacey. Good luck. Thank you. I appreciate it. I can only be proud of how far I've come. I don't believe there's a day that goes by where I don't think about Joe coming out <laughs> with the apron, changing his mind, giving me a chance. It's been a roller coaster, it's been a whirlwind, it's been extremely educational and enlightening. Bravo. Thank you, Joe. Complimenti. And it has broadened my dream wider than I could ever think possible. So thank you, Master Chef. Next week on MasterChef. Everything you know is going to change forever. It's the most shocking twist of the season. What? As some familiar faces return for the ultimate challenge. And then, here's Ryan. Oh, yeah, this piece of It's a MasterChef first, as one fallen home cook will get a chance to cook their way back into the competition. But it's not us you'll have to impress. Say hello to your six judges. One potato, two potato.